Yes, CPT, PVP, Xbox. Let's go. All right, so the videos have been a bit inconsistent over the past few weeks, mainly because work has been super busy. Actually here in the studio, we've been doing streams for the past few days now. Uh, it's been pretty crazy. Like uh, we were doing, we actually did like basically three streams on top of each other yesterday. And uh, usually it's usually just one big production. But uh, the only reason why I'm talking about it, I really haven't shown my work too much in recent videos or I really actually haven't done a vlog in a long time. You know, with the whole situation, like basically a lot of stuff has shifted to remote stuff. Like people can't really go in the studio. It's only within the last couple of weeks that we've actually been able to come in and out of the studio. And even that has precautions. Like we have to wear face masks and take our temperature and check in. So the emphasis has been on doing things remotely, people working from home, uh, if they're doing commentary or casting, they have to do it from home. And so with that sense, like that's why probably the most recent tutorials or informational stuff that I did was focused about how to do remote things or how to do things remotely. We actually came up with a really cool system of doing this one production where not only was the caster remote, the actual director for the broadcast was remote too. And um, it had a few quirks. Uh, had to troubleshoot a couple issues, but uh, I think it worked pretty well. And it's a good test case. Like the person running the stream, like we're here in Singapore, they were actually running it from the Philippines. So I guess theoretically, maybe in about a, a year or so, you could actually outsource live stream production. But um, yeah, it's just been a lot of figuring out new tech and I'm gonna be happy to share a lot of it on the channel. Uh, some of it I can't, of course, because it's, you know, how the bills get paid at the end of the day. Um, but some of the, I, I figured out a couple of cool ne new techniques. Like one of the things that was really plaguing me was the way I had to route my audio for my stream setup. Like, um, it seems weird, but dual stream setups create some really unique problems with getting your gameplay audio and your microphone audio and routing it in a way where like if you want to add voice effects or a compressor, um, there's a simple way to do it, which is the way I used to do it, but it really limited in how you could tweak the audio and the sound. So probably in the next couple of weeks or so, I'll be doing um, some info from that that I've discovered. Uh, I really learned a lot about getting people to view and see things remotely and control things remotely. So some of that stuff that I figured out, and the cool thing is, is that best of all, most of it is free. Anyone can do it. And uh, hopefully more updates coming soon as time goes on. Um, we really hit some big milestones in the past couple weeks. And following that, uh, I wouldn't say it's a down period. There's still some big projects, but um, it'll be a good period, at least for me to recollect. There's been some pretty long days, some 16 hour days. so hopefully to catch up with some of that time, get things cranking soon. Uh, I have a new concept for a series of videos that I've been working on and figuring out. I actually got the first one scripted out. Unfortunately, I just didn't have time to shoot it and edit it, but uh, I think I'll be working on that one next week. And um, that'll hopefully be a new series along with the FGC stuff and the tech guide testing stuff. Um, there's some new toys that have come in that I'll be talking about how you can incorporate into streaming. Is it necessary? No, actually the next few videos are just kind of like overkill stuff, but it'll be kind of fun to show how it gets incorporated. Thanks for the people who've been watching. Actually a pretty cool milestone. We actually hit uh, 7,000 subscribers, I think recently. Uh, the laptop video has been performing really well. And I think that's really what's been giving a big boost. So I need to think of something else to, you know, bait them clicks on that. 
And um, thanks for listening to the ramble. Sorry again that all the content's been haphazard. Um, the uh, whole situation here, whereas I thought would lead to more time for creativity, actually led us to be busier than ever, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you soon. This was just a quick update and uh, we'll get some more videos out in the next coming weeks or so. So see ya.